Brooklyn. Yeah. But I've heard, I've heard girls say they liked the breads that wasn't really out there, like that looked looked at as like the the, the it bread. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be an it bread. You could be a a five with accessories. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you're a five and you're getting a girl who's a ten. Obviously, people are going to look, yeah, and women yeah. more are going to look. They're going to be like, okay, what it is about my man that's attracted mm. this 10? Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, I don't, I don't, I don't bro, it's, it's like going back to the cheating thing, fam. I just, I just really do feel, there's so many different angles of it. Like, as we just said, women mm. will do certain, because I think we've all been, but the, the way we're talking, we've all been victims of that kind of thing. Like, we've been with somebody, and you've seen the signals. I don't know, the mm. wide eyes, or somebody doing a little extras. Or just, like, somebody just on your case all the time, like, just dissing you. Like, no matter what you do, you come in the house. Like, mm. why are you doing the most? Mm. And then later on down the line and stuff like that, I don't know, you know, like, she gave you a hard time. I was like, why are you trying to come for me now? Mm. You know what I'm saying? What, what's going on here? You know, the easiest solution to all of this is to stay in law. And that's it. <laughs> stay in law, and that's your easy solution. Because I tell you something, stay in law and being out cheating and being a scumbag, I know which one I'd rather be. Because being law is so much more relaxing, man. When you're out yeah, being a scumbag, it is stressful. I mean, I imagine it is stressful. Uh, I'm hearing it's stressful out being a scumbag. So it's just like, you know what, just, just allow it. But then it, it goes on to our thing about, you know, yeah. To make sure that they're loyal as well, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for you sure. you can be a punk in a situation yeah. and you can see even then. The thing is, most people, we've been punks in a situation. We've been punks in a situation. Not me. I, I'm, I'll say it. I'll, <laughs> I'll check, I'll check. I'll say it straight. Like, 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 everybody's been like, taken for an idiot before, bro. Yeah, like, when, you, when you're a little to the girl and she's like doing her thing and people like behind your back, people are laughing at you. And yeah, yeah. Like, and then like, but when you, when you grow older, you're like, man, I don't want to grow like that. But nah. Some of the signs are there, isn't it? Like, some of the signs are there, but we don't see it. Nah. And, and the friends will cover it for them. I think yeah. it's ego as well. Like, you know, when you're speaking about, um, about men, like, nah, not entertaining it. Yeah, cheating, she's out. Mm. A lot of it's to do with pride and what you're saying about the fact of yeah, one million people percent. Are speaking behind you. Yeah, one about million that, percent. You know, and you have to, like, and I think also she'd lose respect for you. Do you know what I'm saying? If you, she cheated on you. And you kept her, she's automatically lost quite a bit of a slight of me. Oh, right. I know I can do this because he's not going nowhere. Yeah. And that's what's worse. It's like the Spencer it's, meme from Made in Chelsea. It's, and like it's bound arguing. to fail, man. It's bound to fail with that one, I think. Yeah, of course. It's best just to. Look, if you want to go about doing your thing, do your thing. Just, you know, try and be single when you do it, innit? It's not hard. It's the honesty thing. I think honesty it's does it's, play it's a just, part, It's just the honest. honesty thing. I think if, you, if you're going to do something. Like, just just tell the just, just just tell the truth. I know it sounds like a whack thing to say, but you'll you'll sleep better at night. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? You'll sleep better at night because, bro, it only affects that person. You see, like if you've got somebody a good partner and you've gone and done a day with them, mm. sometimes these things turn into affairs and get and people get carried away with themselves. Yeah. The people only person in the long run at the end of that story mm. is it's the, the person, person that went and did the dirty because that person said, like, I shouldn't have done that to that person. Mm -hmm. Now they can't sit still. They don't have to get that person back because if that person said like, you know, I've had enough of this. You know the only you know person mean? I've seen do that with flawless with no guilt is power in, uh, ghost in power. Yeah, but, it, but then, but then ghost died. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? He yeah, had yeah. to die, fam. He yeah. kept on seeing but Angela. Look, That's look, how bad no, it was. But look how, <laughs> no, but look how mad that is. Like, the fact that man just... Ghost was a scumbag. In, in certain way, where it's like, he's getting through this, he's getting out of Yeah, that, yeah, and yeah. And yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, because he played his mom. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, no, you know what? I don't think it was about that. I don't think it was just about that. It wasn't just about playing his mom. It's that he wasn't honest. And he wasn't like because like, yeah so no no kind and he wasn't he was manipulating him when he didn't need to manipulate him he's already on his side because he's his son yeah but he's going back he's breaking his word you're gonna feel a type of way about that and I will tell you something now if you there's lots of different types of men in this world in it but the ones that matter are the ones who are whose action match their words because yeah. they're men out there who have got words for days mm. but they don't do nothing mm, that's true and it's and when it comes to women that's what they really respect but then that's ghost, why you should downplay it but then bit. ghost was a difficult character bro, because he was following through with his word yeah man that's just mad i can't, I can't. Do you know what I'm like he he was prime scumbag <laughs> Prime scumbag. You know we spoke about, uh, and like, girls still liked him. <laughs> you know what, well, this is what I'm saying. I mean, sometimes you can win either way. You can, the only way you can't win, I think, is by being a generally nice guy. Because it turns out all the scumbags, 
and all the flawed people are the ones who still still get the attention. That's what's mad. You have to. I think so what it is is so we're promoting scumbags now. No, but I'm just saying whatever your whatever your thing is, you know, follow it, do it with your chest. But I feel yeah, like now I believe that. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, everyone should accept. Yeah. Everyone should accept that everyone is flawed. Mm. So let's say, for example, if you admit you're you're flawed, um, and you're a man, you'll still attract women because you're you understand mm. of your flaws. And of course, from her perspective, you're like, okay, he's broken in these places, but. I can make him better, which is obviously enough. Then maybe that's where women go wrong as well. There's a lot of hopes out here. Mm. Maybe he will change in well, I time. Think, I think maybe he no, will do this. It just goes back to what I'm saying with that then. It goes back to what they're saying and what they're doing. That is it. That's the simplest yeah. way of doing it. If they're saying, like I always say to my friend, never say to, I always say to him, never say to your missus, you're going to do something on this day, on this month or whatever. If you know Wow, a hundred percent. You can back it. Some man actually believe their lies. Some man believe their lies. They're like, bro, definitely, I have got this. I've got a space. <laughs> now I like to play it safe, man. I like to say, look, if I think I can't, if I give a realistic time frame, if I say, I don't know, we're gonna do this by uh, May or whatever, and I know it's achievable by May, that's fine. You know, I told you about that woman try to call me out before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Some yeah. woman try to call me out. I was at a wedding. And I'm sitting there with my missus and all that. A beef. And she was like, oh, Rob, so... This is before I got engaged, obviously. Oh, when are you going to get engaged? In front of the whole table at her friend's wedding or whatever. And I was just like, listen, man's out here making big moves. I haven't forgotten. I go, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, at the moment, that's not my focus. In X amount of months, that will be my focus. And that's probably when we're getting engaged. And she's looking at my missus thinking, oh, are you having that? Are you having that? It's just like, yeah, because like we've already spoke about this. So like, well, what were you trying to achieve? Just haters, bruv. They're haters. Jokes on no. And the madness is, I go to it now. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. What we're gonna do? We're gonna do a joint wedding with uh, your boyfriend. I haven't got a boyfriend. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Ooh, mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. Not having that, bro. I think it's the way that they, they, like they always got the best of everyone, bro. Nah, bro. Where's your man? Yeah, so it's not it's you concentrating your own affairs, you know what I'm saying? Don't come at me with that nonsense, bro. I'm I'm 30. Man's got accolades to prove what I've been doing Trust out here, me. you know what I'm saying? Like, it gets like that, though, man. It gets like that. Nah, 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 and she's going for all of these guys and you know yep. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, I was thinking about that, man. Listen, if, <laughs> for you, yeah, if I like someone, yeah, after that me, I've never liked someone in person, like, my whole life. I'll I get it, yeah, I, I, I understand that. If, if I like to go and pick someone else, over me, I'm never going back there ever. I'm never going there ever. Mm. Like, mm. What's the point? It's always going to feel... Second best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. And yeah. you're always going to... And it's even... Second best thing, you're always going to think that like, other guys, like, because if you said that loads of guys, isn't it? So, like, mm. all these guys are going to look different. You're going to start looking at loads of guys and think, all right, it's that and that, it's that and that. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit long. Yeah, I'm the safety one. I'm like, she likes them, but she's with me because she's like, content, like, it's a bit long. Mm. Like, you want to go with that, like, you. Yeah, yeah. She sees you, she likes you, what she wants. No. She wants you in 10 years. So, so, so yes, yeah, so as you're saying, it's like, well, that's what I was saying in the beginning. Like, me personally, it's like anytime um, me and um, say, like, you got group affairs or, or things going on, my whole thing was just like, if we was just doing a group link up or anything like that, I always says, like, let the girls choose. You can't lose because mm. then you know what's going on because men will actually be. It's, we can all go into a room and say to yourself, oh, I want that one. And then they've got like a whole bundle of man going for that one. And then after all, you could go and say, I want that one, but that one wasn't feeling this one. Bro, if you let women choose, I think women choose anyway. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah, so if sure. it's a thing where like that goes back to the cheating thing and like what you were saying there, if your mind wasn't on me enough for you to be distracted by something mm. else, go and stay with that something else. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah go yeah, and yeah. stay with that something else because yeah, yeah. all I'm going to do 
is grind your name down into the ground every time you come near me because mm. you've made me feel like I'm lesser than that person. Mm. And I damn well know I'm not. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just that your preference at the time and you're going to get this right. You don't respect this enough. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Same thing with, works with the men and the women. I know the man never going to be like, oh, T, what are you doing, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But it's facts. Yeah, yeah. It's facts. Well, this is the thing. This is an interesting one now. So, obviously, if you're with a woman... And she wants 100% of you. So every part of you, she, she wants you to be law to her and, and all the rest yeah. of it, yeah? Now, and if you're someone who's usually dated a lot of women, but you've dated a lot of women at the same time for different reasons, yeah? I feel like sometimes they ask for that 100%, but I don't think they're really ready for that 100%. Because let's say, for example, you're dating a couple of different girls, just casually, one of them you go to for whatever, one of them you go to for something else, something else, like, Emotional, physical, like uh, like recreational, whatever it may be, yeah? Now, all of those things now have to be incorporated into this one woman. Yeah. Is she ready for that? That's the real question you've got to ask yourself. Well, you see, they, they, well, they, that's, that, what, that goes back to what... Uh, yeah, right? my, well, that's, that, that's the same thing as what you said in the beginning. It's like, you got to look at what was... Why was my man moving like that? If you yeah. have to be picking so many different things in so mm. many different tricks, there's something wrong with you, bruv. Well, there's certain, Do you know what I'm saying? There's like, certain qualities, or there's certain... You kind of, how can you put it? It's, it's almost like a, like a pick and mix kind of yeah. variation. You want... Okay, let's say, for example, you got girl A, you got girl A, like she's sexy and all of that, but she got no fucking brain. Like yeah. mentally, not anything else. And uh, then there's another girl and she's intellectually stimulating or whatever, but she don't look too good. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Or there's another girl who's like, like chilling, like a good, like pally, you got a good relationship with them, like cool. But, you know, is she going to be a good mother? That's a bit kids? difficult, you know. There's a lot. Do you know what I'm saying? There so is. All of those requirements, it depends what your requirements are. So... You need to, to be 100% invested in something. That person needs to have everything that you want, essentially, within reason, obviously. Well, fi I mean? well, firing that That's question, married, firing bro, that question to you, yeah? What would you actually prefer? We'll just do like a quick little either or or something like that. What would you actually prefer? Something that looks like she's 10-10, you know what I'm saying? She's the hot thing. She makes you feel comfortable and confident when you're out and stuff like that. But then she gets an extreme amount of attention. To a point where there could be rumours that fly out, whatever, whatever. Even though you're a secure guy within yourself, there are going to be some things that get to you. Or somebody that's not as attractive, but like pairable or whatever. But no matter what happens, you feel secure. But it doesn't give you that same excitement as the other one. Which, which one you do you lean towards? Like, as I got older, I realised that um, I'm more attracted to the mind, isn't it? Like, so, mm. if a woman can mentally still yeah, I kind of hear that because I know. You'll be more, you'll, you'll find them more attractive. Yeah, of course, because there's yeah. more, there's deeper understanding. So you can well. develop you into the, yeah. Okay. There's only so long you can date bimbos. Yeah, now, but yeah, hey, there's an expiry date on that <laughs> because um, after a while you want someone who's, you know what I mean, that you can have a bit of chat with. Yeah. Like this, is what I'm saying, the whole package. Mm. What I'm saying is that the reason I'm getting married is because my missus is the whole package. To me, she's the whole package. Okay, so, well, well, a question to you then. Mm. Do you think that you lot develop that package? Because don't forget, you lot are coming um, together as one. That's a mm. biblical term. You're coming together as one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But do you think, like, it was a thing? Because, as you said, it's like that 100%. Mm. But do you think, like, when you get to, like, a certain percentage, now it's time for you to, like, to build that 100% together? Because that's, I don't know. Well, I'll let you answer. Well, oh, ideally, you want to make each other better. You yeah. want to uplift each other. Um, and that's that's what will be successful. You want it to be a team. That's yeah. your team. That's your part. That's your partner. You know what I'm saying? Your life partner. So they need to understand you. And they need to understand you on like a real deep level. They need to understand what your triggers are, mm. how you feel about certain things. Do you know what I'm saying? Like what's important to them, what's important to you. Like it's a whole big process, man. It's like a mm. real deep, deep thing. Like, and I feel like it's part of the reason why it's got to the stage it has is because of her behavior, her standards, how she interacts with me, mm. like how she's respectful of me, knowing what, do you know what I mean? Knowing what yeah. makes me tick, me knowing what her ticks. And it's just that kind of chemistry and that compatibility. Yeah. Because I tell you something, some people just, they'll never get you. Some people will never get you. No yeah, matter yeah, who no, they, they'll never that. understand. It's like oil and like, water. For example, like, I, I, like if we have a, 
if there's an issue or an argument, let's say, it's not my job to understand. Like, okay, let's 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 let's, let's put it like this. Let's say she's annoyed about something, mm. and I'm like, she's just exaggerating. That doesn't take away from the importance of it, because to her, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you need to understand that it's not something which is just because you don't care about it. The person that you love cares about it. Yeah, so yeah. You have to so you'll be mindful show of interest it. and un yeah, yeah and understand just be mindful, yeah. at least maybe not even understand it, but at least recognize it, recognize yeah. they're upset. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Some people think, oh, I don't care about it. What's the fucking big deal? Do you know what I'm saying? But that's not gonna, cause, but that goes both ways as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. just need to, it's, it's, it's a process, man. I went on a course and everything, bro. I went on a course. So I know, bro, a proper course. That's good, though, because you know the thing is, to be honest, yeah, you're probably only gonna find one person like that in your whole life. Yeah, You're gonna find one person. People say, no, I find loads of people. No, you're gonna find one person that has the whole package. And some people have probably already found that person and messed up already. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe. Okay, qu quick question to you. Does it matter if she can get along with your family or not? Um, yeah. That's a, that's a well, big the thing. The thing is, my family is not like... My family is easy to get along with, and I'm only really that close to my immediate family, really. Yeah, yeah. So it's calm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it, it, like when it comes to mumsy or yeah, yeah. sisters or anything like that, just say they got a different. Say it starts off good, but then it there's it's it's not gelling no more. No, How would you handle those kind of situations? Because you have to be mature about it. Sit everyone down and then and speak to each other. Like everyone has to get along, in it. Yeah. Or you just separate them from each other so they don't cross paths like that. Yeah. Like it's. But also as well, if they if the common denominator is you and they, they both love you, they need to yeah. get along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But sometimes even they love talk, even if it's just basic, hi, how are you? I'm alright. Yeah, the respect of the yeah. Because yeah. you really you'll get because you'll get women that will break it down and be like, Well, you can't be a mama's boy. Say your mum is like it's it's you know, obviously you're your mum's baby. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm saying? So if your mum don't like a certain thing that like your mum's gonna have an opinion, <laughs> are you gonna would you check your mum? In a situ certain situation, I know the word check sounds a bit yeah, strong, yeah. but like, because you've got your own household. These are, the, the, yeah, that's true, that's you know, well, this just because I mean, I mean, even when I, I you're getting married now. So obviously, when you get into your own house, when you get into your own house, obviously, I don't want to put your business out yeah, there, yeah. but, but I they, mean, they touched on this and they were like, you know, you need to realize that you're going into, you're like you're saying, you're creating your own family. Yeah. So realistically, you know, it goes wife, then mum, minute. Like, yeah. Before it might be mum and then girlfriend, but. Wife needs to come first. Wife yeah. and kids, your wife and kids need to come first, mm. really, and they should be able to understand that. You yeah. Know what I'm saying, so they should be, and all, as parents and obviously um, as people in marriage, let's say they should be able to understand that more. Mm. Like if I had a conversation with my dad about it, he was like, "Yeah, I, you know, obviously, like you have to put your, your wife first." Yeah. Wife yeah. First, like, I think you've just saved yourself from the um, the weight comment on UK gossip. I think that's the next. <laughs> 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 I think that's. There's a lot of men I see, but they're a lot of younger guys. To be fair, I see on the gram, and they're like, "Oh no, nah, like my mom's more important than my girl," and like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." Like, whatever, like she gave me life. She's more important. She's more important. That's true, and that is all true, and that's great, and whatever, great. Look after your mum, but you know, if you want to be a grown up, do you know what I'm saying you can't be. That's hella unattractive as well, just to be. Yeah, know, yeah. I bet no, so I, I believe in that. Do you know what I'm saying? And then because that behavior will transition onto your wife, you'll expect all the things that your mum does for you, your wife will do for you, but your wife's not your mum. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to, but some men, I think, to be honest with you, especially now, I see a lot of things where um, there's a lot of younger guys who are basically just completely being man at the house, financing their, financing their, um, their mother and their household, and that's not healthy, I believe. If you're like, I don't know, 10, 11, 13, 15, whatever, and it's your job to look after your mum as a child and adult, that's that's a form of... Um, what is it? There's a, there's, it's like emotional... What's it called? It's like emotional... It's almost a form of like emotional incest, emotional okay. vulnerability, yeah. because you're playing a role that an adult should be playing and you're a child. Yeah, yeah. It's mad. Do you know what I mean? You no, it's, it's, it's a bit, with the blurred lines, it's a bit. You, know, you just have to think what's best for you in your situation. Everyone's situation is different. Everyone's yeah. family situation is different. Not everyone's family situation is the same. No, nah, because like, like as I said, it's like you got some families that are intense, but then sometimes you can get a 
a girlfriend that is intense and do you know what I mean? I've seen that tug of war conversation all the time. As you said, you like you'll have young males, not even young males, because you have big men as well still that will turn around and be like, yo, you know, that's the person that gave me life. That's the person mm. like if this falls apart, I'm always going there. That's true. At the same token, you're building your own house. Do you know what I'm saying? You're building your own house. You're the man of your house. If your wife is giving you chest, they could the woman could turn around and be like, You're not in this relationship with your mum. You're you're over here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if your mum's saying something disrespectful to me. I'm not disrespecting your mum or something like that. I'm telling you, I don't like that shit around mm. my house. Yeah, yeah. Like, how do you go about that? But sometimes this can be a bit tricky. I've been in the middle of that before. Yeah. And then you've got to add kids into the equation as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the thing, like, um, like me, I don't have any kids. Um, you know, ideally, I want some kids with my wife and not with other, uh, like, another woman. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good start. It's an obvious, isn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> but, but, that was an obvious. You know, some people now, there's a lot of blended <laughs> families now, a lot of step families and whatever. Would you date uh, a woman who's already got kids? Do you have kids yourself? Yeah, I've, got, I've got a child. But the thing is, like, I've never had a problem with dating women with children. Like, my longest relationship was with a woman that had kids with children. Did you find it easier? Because my mum was always telling me, there was a point, because I've got um, my little one as well, and there was a point where I um, broke up with uh, my little one's mum and stuff like that, and I said to myself, like, you know what? Because I know how much of, like, I'm, I'm always with my little one. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I need to let my little one know her dad's there. Mm-hmm. Like, I was always looking at it from the other frame of, like, when her mum gets with somebody else, um, that person might not be able to understand what's going on with, you know, that kind of situation. So I always, uh, it's, a, it's a small minded thing, it's a little man thing at the, at the time. Mm-hmm. And I would always say to myself, like, well, if it's going to hurt, if the person I'm seeing as an active for, um, uh, baby father that's like that, mm-hmm. then oh, I don't really want to deal with another set of mine and whatever, whatever. And I had that ignorance at the time, but then and my mum sat me down, she's like, I don't know what spring chicken you lot think you lot are, or what some prize you are. Like, you lot are coming with kids as well. Mm. And probably a woman with children would understand your situation better. Like, did, did, you've done both sides. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, well, do you know what? I, I don't know that. I just think it depends on the person. It's a person's understanding. Because, like, even when I was with a girl way back in the day when I was younger, she had two kids and I didn't have no kids. Mm. Mm. Like, but the thing is, it didn't put me off her. Like, okay. it, it never put me off her because I lacked her. Mm. And if you date a woman with children, that comes as a package, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah, 100%. So you've got to acknowledge that. So for me, like, it's more of the person, isn't it? a mindset. A girl could have no children and just treat you like rubbish and have no respect for you. Yeah, them. yeah. Or a girl, and even a woman with children can do the same thing. So yeah. It's just, it's just the mindset of the actual person, isn't it? Like, mm. regardless if they've got kids or not. So what happens in regards to, like, like, child upbringing so like say if you're involved with someone with a, um, involved with a woman and she has kids and you guys are in a proper serious relationship how does that work with dis- about discipline discipline and stuff yeah, like that? that, yeah. Now that's that, that that's that's one where yeah i don't know i'll, I'll let you yeah say, I'm not I've, sure I've, got my... I, I've never been in that situation so no, i don't no, know no. but i know my friend has and he was saying that like oh yeah they see me like a father and stuff but i'm like uh, yeah, it could it could it could be it could be know. easier. It could be easy. Like, it is it's, it's weird because like when well, it's, it's not weird, weird. it's it's kind of straightforward. I don't want to say it's weird and mm-hmm. make it more complex complex than it is because, as you were saying, it's like if you're with that person, you love the package of what's happening. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, if that person's child has, um, if if the the father of the child is mm. active, it's easy to just make sure there's clear definitive lines. We're not trying to be a dad here but you are a male figure of support within this function now okay. what the level the levels of the discipline thing now mm. that's probably something that has to be assessed of how you go because no bro i'll be damned if anybody tries to hit my child from i'm going to jail that day yeah. you know what I'm saying? so and like but at the same token it, it's it's a thing but like no man would like the 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 mother of you know, of, the, of their child to have revolving doors of different men coming in and trying to act like that and stuff. No, mm. no, no. You're, you're established there. Now, if the dad's not there and say the child yeah. wants to be calling you dad or something mm. like that, that's another situation again now. What is what I mean, with, with that situation, I feel like, like I've, I've never really dated any women with kids or been in anything serious with women with kids. So, but my thing is, was always that me, I never want to be involved with someone or trying to raise someone else's kids that aren't mine. I feel like that's not really my place to do so. So I'm a bit like, I don't really want to, I don't know. I just feel like 
I don't know if I feel like this now, but I suppose it doesn't really matter as much now. But like, why is it now? Okay, I obviously love the mom and we're tear, tear, tear. But I'm a bit like, okay, my man's kind of got off scot free, scot free, and I'm here with your kid, looking after your kids. I yeah, feel that's a type a, that, of way. You know? That that kind of way you're looking at it, it's um. That, that, that's, 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 that's what I say. That's, that's the young, that's the, the, yeah, the young version of me would have thought so. Not to think about I'm um, picking up the places where this, because me personally, mm. any man that don't want to look after their kid, I just think you're a pussy, old blood. Mm. I'm sorry, I'll just, I'll just say that with the whole Facts. chest in that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's a mistake or whatever, whatever. That child never asked to be here. You're just a straight weakness. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So, with that being said now, because I know, bruv, I'm, I'm all about the kids, fam. You know what I'm saying? Because these are the next people that when your ass is old, mm, you're yeah, gonna 100%. want that company when you want those things there. So I never look at it as a situation as oh that guy's doing it. And, and like you get you get women that will think the same thing. Mm. They'll be like, Oh, um it's like because uh, 'cause I'm always with my child. Like sometimes it has come up in relationship I've been in. And they'll be like, Oh bro, it's like, you know, you're always there and they're like, What what do they do? And someone's like, Bro, I couldn't care less. I couldn't yeah, yeah, care yeah, less. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to look through that little person's eyes. Mm. So if you're gonna be there Mm -mm. always consider how that little person is looking at you kind of thing you know what I'm saying mm -mm. because you could ever be the difference of them leaving the house and becoming a madness mm. you know what I'm saying because they're seeing you abusing the situation or what's going on because there's a lot of men that will come into a relationship and be like she's got a child so I'll just be like yeah I'll be here today I'll just dip out tomorrow and, mm. and you're not looking at what you're, you're damaging things here.